We've got the man, Colin O'Donoghue. Colin, let me clarify. Is it Colin O'Donoghue or do- Donahue? Well, uh, I say Colin O'Donoghue. I don't know who. I like it. I, I, just your accent, man. Like I get. We don't even need to talk about your show. I mean, you'd probably prefer that, but I just want to listen to you talk about anything. I love it. <laughs> you for people. Well, thank, thank you very much. I'm uh, I'm flattered. You, you're very welcome. For people that don't know that we should probably talk about your show. You are uh, Captain Hook on Once Upon a Time. I have to admit, I'm not a uh, Once Upon a Time fan yet. I, I'm going to get into it now, but I had not been watching before, so I asked when I was presented with this interview, should we talk to Captain Hook from Once Upon a Time? And Everybody came out of the woodwork and unanimously said that we should. And uh, the general consensus is, one, you're the uh, best part of the show. And two, you are an incredibly sexy man. Are those... Oh, stop. Is that, that? And I didn't say it. You don't have to tell me to stop. This is the world, Colin. This is what they think about you. It's got to be nice. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's... I don't think they think it's... Uh, it's not me. It's the, it's the character. It's the leather pants. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Normally, I'm just a normal guy. Throw leather pants on me, and all of a sudden, it just does something to me. Well, uh, tell Put people... Put leather pants on, on a bit of eyeliner, and, you know, it's all, it's, all, yeah. it's all systems go. The rest is history. Well, for people that haven't checked out Once Upon a Time before, kind of, it, it, it's an interesting concept for a show. Explain the show, and uh, explain how your character, Captain Hook, kind of plays into the whole story. So, basically... You know the story of Once Upon a Time is it's, it's sort of this, these fairy tale characters who ex- exist in the real world in a town called Storybrooke in Maine, and it's um, you know in the first season they were under a curse and they didn't realize they were actual story you know sort of fairy tale characters uh, until the curse gets broken by the savior who's played by Jen- uh, Jennifer Morrison and uh, they sort of realize then who they are and. It's, uh, I guess it's about them trying to, to, to exist uh, together. Um, and I came in in the second season then uh, after Captain Hook and, you know, sort of, I, uh, I've managed to infiltrate the, the group as, a, you know, um, as a character and sort of become a part of, uh, part of uh, life and storybook. And now, you know, sort of Emma and Hook have a, uh, have a relationship and they're trying to make things work. There you go. So many people. are at the minute. It's, I mean, what, it's an awesome concept for a show, and especially with all the cool characters that get to make appearances there. I mean, it's like you get you know a new twist on all these characters that all of us are at least somewhat familiar with, so that's awesome. Um, we have a few questions about the show here. Do we meet the uh, the sorcerer or author this season, and if so, who is it? Well, I can't tell you. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. C- Colin, why? Yeah, because... Because <laughs> uh, I've been told not to. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good reason. That's a good. Yeah, I understand. Job preservation is probably important. Um, since you've worked with uh, most of the cast on screen, who is your favorite person in the cast to act with? Is there somebody uh, you just really have a good time on screen with? Well, look, I, I've, well, I do most of my stuff pretty much with Jennifer Morris, and, and it's uh, and it's fantastic. We get we get on so well. So we we go, you know, so working with each other, and but. Uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of lucky that with my character, I've I've been able to work with pretty much everybody in the cast and have had some sort of you know sort of in in depth scenes with, with people and and it's just fantastic to, to to work with everybody. I wouldn't like to really pinpoint one person over another because everybody brings something different to the you know sort of to the scenes and stuff like that. So it's great to to be able to work with everybody on the show. Absolutely, I can understand that. Uh, how somebody wanted to know how uncomfortable is it to wear that costume? You said the costume is what brings all all the ladies to the yard, so to speak. But uh, how uncomfortable is that outfit? Uh, it's it's pretty comfortable actually. Uh, it's surprisingly comfortable. Um, the old pirate outfit. You know, the only thing was my ja- my jacket was fifty pounds in weight, so you sort of it gets a bit heavy after a while. But it was uh, yeah, it was surprisingly comfortable. Yeah, it let- good. So what you're saying is maybe for the rest of us guys out there, maybe uh, try to pull off leather pants every once in a while. Well, I'm not saying that, but, you know, you could give it a try. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's no, nothing not going to hurt anything. Uh, any new characters that we will be uh, meeting in the second half of this season that you can talk about? Well, so in the second half of the season, you're going to meet the, the Queens of Darkness, Maleficent, Cruella, and Ursula. And uh, so they come in for the, for the whole second half of the season, and... and uh, it's going to be all kinds of hijinks and uh, shenanigans happening in Storybrooke. There you go. That's uh, one question somebody else had too, and they just brought up: Has Jamie Dornan's, uh, you know, has he changed it all after all the Fifty Shades of Grey fame, or is he still the same Jamie he was before uh, being in one of the biggest movies of the year? 
Well, I, I actually don't really... Uh, I, I came in after Jamie we sort of finished and uh, I only met him once and uh, he was he was so such a lovely guy and uh, I, I think, you know, I think he, from what I hear he's, he's still exactly the same guy and, and uh, it's absolutely fantastic that he's had such success and he deserves it. Yeah. You know, hopefully it'll, it'll keep going. It, uh, yeah, I love seeing that. It's always nice to see people you enjoy working with uh, get to have some big success. And what's cool about you two, I was reading this, is it, I mean, obviously you're doing well. I mean, the success is there. You're you're an actor at heart. You know, you like stage, you like screen, you like doing it all. You just are a, an artist. But you haven't decided to make the move to L.A. or to New York. I mean, you're still living at home, right? I mean, not like your, your childhood home or anything, but I mean, you haven't moved to the big city to chase the dream. You're doing it kind of your own way. Well, look, I spent a lot of time in LA, you know, trying to to, to make a, to sort of get work and stuff like that. But um, you know, I've, I've I've a wife and a son, and um, you know, sort of, um, we live in we live in Ireland. Well, I mean, at the minute we live in Vancouver most of the year. So, um, but uh, Ireland is my home, and uh, yeah, I mean, look, I love LA and I love New York. So, who's to know what will happen in the future? But uh, at the minute, thankfully, things are able to sort of work out the way that they have been, so it's great. great. Yeah, very very down-to-earth sound of, of your life, and I like that. It's nice to stay grounded. Uh, we do have a listener here on our app that uh, listens every day from Kingswood, England, and he wants to know, does he like rugby, Ireland versus England this weekend? Do I, I, will I watch the game? Will I watch the rugby? Is that what they're asking? I think he's one, yeah. Are, you, a, are you into it? Yeah, yeah, I'm into it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to watch it. It's going to be, uh, it's a big game. It's a big game. Uh, you know, uh, rugby, there's a tournament on. Uh, you know, over that side uh, called the Six Nations, so it's a big, uh, it's a big game on Sunday. There you go. It's nice to have for for him. You know, he listens to our show over here in, in America, so nobody really connects with him on rugby. So it's nice that he finally is able to have somebody from his part of the world. Um, somebody, women are asking if you could just stay on the show all day and continue to talk in your sexy voice. They're uh, emphasizing their. Yeah, l- no I'll just stand here and just sort of say things. Yeah. Uh, you can feed me lines and I'll just say them. Exactly. It's. I mean, that's got to be so cool. What an amazing, uh, wait, amazing, amazing accent. Uh, in the future, anything for you? I mean, is this new role uh, as Captain Hook here, has that brought on any new jobs? Do we have any projects coming down the pipe? Anything after Once Upon a Time lined up? Yeah, there's a couple of things in the pipeline. You know, there's sort of a limited uh, uh, sort of time frame that you can do stuff between seasons. So... Um, you know, and I'm I'm sort of tied into the show, which is fantastic, and, I, and I'm absolutely delighted to be a part of the show. So, you know, but uh, I I shot a movie in Nashville where I played a musician, which should come out next year, I think, called The Dust Storm. And uh, you know, there's a couple of other things in the in the pipeline, so very, it's, uh, it's great. Very nice. Well, the women also would like to uh, invite you here to uh, to Billings as well, if you ever want to come, Colin. We have a beautiful area here. You can ride horses, whitewater raft, anything you want to do, ski. We've got it all, and you're more than welcome, according to all of the women here. And uh, last but not least, somebody wants to know if you have seen the uh, the dress on the internet that people are arguing about, whether it's white and gold or black and blue. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? Uh, unfortunately, I do. And, uh, you know, I'm going to cause a little bit of consternation, but I'm going to say that it's, it's white and gold, but it's in shadow. Thank you very much. It's clearly white It's clearly white and gold, Colin, and everybody it's smart... Like, oh, because of the contrast. Yeah. It's so bright outside. It exactly. Like it's, uh, Every, everybody's smart, everybody's sexy, everybody that women love all agree it's white and gold. So I'm with you. Colin O'Donoghue playing Captain Hook on the awesome ABC show Once Upon a Time. If you haven't checked it out, catch up. And uh, if you are watching, make sure to check out tonight uh, Sunday's episode, 7 p.m. on ABC. It's going to be awesome there. Colin, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks so much for taking the time. And uh, have a wonderful weekend, my friend. Thank you very much, you too. Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings number one hit music station. Hot 101.9.